And a short time ago, we showed you how emergency teams train for water rescues. Now, we're going to show you how to save yourself in dangerous surf conditions. Good evening. I'm Veronica Della Cruz. And I'm Ken Bastida. A little something different to start at 530, some surf survival skills from our in-house expert, it turns out. KPIX5 reporter Kenny Choi is an avid surfer around here and from his time in Hawaii. And this evening, he's uh, sharing what you can do if you find yourself in trouble. Kenny? Ken, it's a common mistake that people make when they're in a rip current. They try to swim back to shore, and it could often end in a tragic way. Take a look at Ocean Beach right behind me. It stretches for miles and miles. No rock formations, and it just stretches. And that's the perfect place for dangerous rip currents. We jumped into the water with some first responders and some swimmers to show you what to do if you're caught up in a rip current. I zipped up my wetsuit, strapped on a GoPro, All right, ready to do this. and jumped in. With a fireboat and watercraft on standby, these men and women from the San Francisco Surf Rescue Program guided me into the frigid waters. The common mistake is people turn right back from where they came from, just like they're leaving a building they came in, and run out the exit. To reach that safe exit, there's a simple maneuver to get out. A rip current is, it's all energy. Waves come in, and the water has to go somewhere. So what happens is, water takes the easiest route out. Here's what you should do when being pulled away. Textbook explanation of how you get out is you swim parallel to shore. The water's coming in, it creates a river that goes out, you need to get parallel on shore onto a shallow sandbar or where the waves are breaking and use the waves in the sandbar to get pushed back in. Each year, San Francisco firefighters make on average 180 to 200 rescues a year. If you end up being rescued, the key is to listen to first responders' instructions while in the water. What you need to do is you need to relax, you need to take a breath, you need to float, you need to assess the situation. And when in doubt, ask. Don't be afraid to go up to the lifeguard or the fire department and ask them that day, where is it okay for my kids to get in the water? One thing that we want to really emphasize is that people never turn their back on the ocean to begin with. Uh, secondly, that they don't go in over their knees. Simple ways to stay safe and make it back to shore. And just last week, the San Francisco Fire Department made six separate rescues. That just shows you just how many calls that they take when you're at the beach and when people are in danger. That's why we showed you what to do if you're stuck and swept into a rip current. Ken? Yeah, Kenny, uh, I grew up near Ocean Beach. First thing you learn when you're 10, 12 years old is do not fight the rip current. You get up on your back. And actually, the ocean will take you down the beach and kind of dump you up maybe a half mile away. But you don't panic and you don't <laughs> fight it going back in. Now, I know from your time in the water, you even had some close calls of your own. You know, that's the key is to stay calm. And as a surfer, there have been many moments when I thought, oh, my goodness, I shouldn't be in this situation. One uh, really stands out. I was in Hawaii one time and, and I got caught uh, under a wave. I got tumbled around a little bit and I really couldn't see anything. Um, finally got to the surface and then another wave came right on top of me and then when I was in that water for quite some time the only thing I could see was actually my daughter's face but the key thing in that moment was to stay calm because that gives you the breath and the air to kind of make it all the way back to the surface so in all of this stay calm don't panic and try to remember what we told you about if you are is stuck in that rip current to swim parallel to shore and then make your way back in. Don't swim right to shore when you're in that current. It's just too strong. That's right. Now you know what it's like to be in a washing machine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, Kenny Choi, thank you for that.